All right, guys. Uh, in this video, I'm going to creating some shapes that are relatively easy to do. But the reason I want to show you guys the differences between these two is uh, you can see that shapes looks very similar. However, on the shading side, if you can see this clearly, it has a little bit minor issue with this corner, and this one doesn't have it. It's pretty nice and smooth. Uh, the main reason between that is because the actual geometry. This one has a quite a bit of geometry, but this one does not having that much. And but uh, in order to get the best result, I'm going to show you how to do this properly in this videos. And if you want to do less vertices, you can easily get it done. Uh, let's go to hide this one and uh, getting started. Then we're going to start with adding a circle. Shift A to adding a circle. Uh, right now we're in the top view, and uh, personally, uh, the maximum vertices I use for a circle is 48. So it's more than 48. I think it will be too much to handle, and uh, uh, this is something that uh, we want to do. And uh, here, and go to edit mode, then hit E and Z to drag it out, or you can just adding a cylinder if you want when you do it. And then let's go to the top view. Go to the edit mode and uh, alt z in the extra mode and select everything here and then we'll go to the top view hit i to insert it uh, we're gonna have a pretty nice decent thickness going on here and hit i to one more time to getting over here i know this is a big ungong so we will deal with that later on alt z come out to x-ray mode and then we're going to hit 3 to select the face selection mode and uh, control shift click and then we're going to select this ring all right and then we're going to hit the b key and to using the middle mouse button drag a box over here and to deselect some areas and that is the one part that we don't want to extrude then we're going to hit e key and z axis to extrude some volume out over here so this is pretty much the the shape that we want to go for it and however we need adding some bevel in order to getting this thing uh, working properly okay otherwise if we add a subsurface modifier everything is going to collapse okay so the best way to do is to go to the edit mode and on the edge selection mode and then we're going to select and the sharp edges okay so now the blender already helped us to select all these sharp edges according to this angle, uh, degree angle, and uh, we should be good. And uh, then we're going to do control B to bevel it. Then left click, and then we're making sure we just change the number to a decent uh, width that you want. And typically the segment I'm going to choose using two, and also the outer uh, meters I'm using the arc. Uh, so this is kind of the default settings for my bevel and operation so this is, works pretty well and then let's click out and then what we do next is we're going to adding a, another loop cut here directly to helping to solving this ungong issues okay so you can see that this is ungong however i'm going to hit Control r and this is not a really a a loop cut because we have ungongs deal with so the best way is to click alt click and to select this loop cut and double G to slide it up and put up you know, over here and then control B to bevel this one and to kind of push to the side of this edge that will work so we basically just adding some loop cut in this way much easier we're going to drag the thing down up here now we have this loop cut over here as you can see here this thing has been kind of wiggled so now what we can do here is to select this loop hit the S and Z and 0 to kind of get it straight and flatten it out and double G to slide it down a, a tiny bit because eventually we want to connect these two points and to making sure everything's in qua. So hit J to join it. Same thing here, hit J to join it. And we have issue over here as well. So I'm going to adding a loop cut in here. Same thing uh, because we're dealing with ungong, so we couldn't do that. So control B to bevel it. We're just going to add a loop cut over here in this way. Select that, double G to slide over here. And you can hit E or F key to decide what kind of shape do you want to have. You see that if I'm hitting F key uh, while I'm trying to uh, uh, 
uh, sliding, I can change the shape of this circle, right? Okay, click that. And then I'm going to join these two vertices. Yeah, hit J. Now we just solve the corner issues with the ungong. Okay, so that is fixed. Same thing over here. So we need to do that. And uh, if you don't want to repeat this process, you can definitely using the uh, mirror modifier to get a thing done. And uh, I've shown you this method in the previous uh, videos several times. So that shouldn't be a big deal with you guys. All right, so cool. Go to the edit mode and control two with two level of subdivision level. Okay, it looks nice and neat. Uh, right click, shade smooth. I think that looks pretty nice. And then definitely, uh, according to the usage, you, what you want, you can definitely change the, the thickness for this uh, particular uh, mesh. So you can definitely uh, doing uh, some uh, building according to this, and definitely you can make it shorter. So, and that this is the one way uh, we just did a a quick practice about a good topology. If you really want to fix this ungong, we can certainly do so. So this is a big circle, go to the top view. Let's just select this top face, hit X to delete face. And then I'm going to select this ring right now, you see, it's actually uh, it's gone, this face. So what I would do here, Control F to grid fill, click that. So we can uh, manually change the offset to getting the thing looks properly and then we can just change the offset and they're getting to a, a pretty good looking. So I think this one might work. Okay, so just eight and three. So this is pretty decent and everything is in quad. Later on over here, down here is a big circle again. So we're gonna go to the bottom view, hit the I key to insert it to adding a a support loop and hit I key to get it in here. Control R, adding some loop cut, and then same thing. Select this big ungong face and X to delete the face, and then we select this ring and Control F to do the grid fill. I believe we use like a eight and three. Uh, this is not a like particular number. I just it's just working pretty well uh, for earlier, but for this, it is not really working well, so we're gonna need to change around here to kind of rotate it. I think, yeah, eight, eight, that works just fine. So now uh, we have done everything here, and uh, we can adding a couple loop cut E here, Control R, and to support its shape, and then we can certainly, uh, making sure everything looks more uh, neat and even, and then we can even adding a, another loop cut in here in between if you want to. And then let's go face selection mode and the double check. Q and si face by size. And let's go with four. So everything is in four and nothing is triangle. Do we have any triangle? No. And uh, we don't have any ungong as well. Okay, so that should be pretty good. Okay. So now we are done for the shape of this particular uh, modeling practice. And this is everything I want to share for this video. And if you like this video, please hit likes and share and uh, leave comments in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.